Hello, I'm Natalie Powers and I'm an on-campus film student. Are you getting the full movie or TV experience with today's technology? Or is it getting in the way? With green screen already taking over the box office and rapidly your TV screens, you would think it'd be adding to the story. What if it's only taking away from it? Green screen, screen is replacing backgrounds and sets, and actors are having to act with just walls. And it's really affecting the mood of your stories. We all have a DVD with behind the scenes footage and how much green screen can help a story along. But over the years we've seen an increase of green screen almost to a, like a too much of amount. I am, I may just be a film student, but I'm I've been looking into this whole subject for a few months now and because of my, um, the department I'm probably going to be going in, is our department, and that is the sets and all that, and green screen can really affect the department I'm going into. There are a lot of elements that do go into a movie. You can say that some are better than others, more important, but at the end of the day, all these are needed to come to one to make the story come to life more. But green screen may be taking away too many of those pieces. Acting. Acting is essential to the story. And actors have a hard time as it is. They're becoming another person. Acting is listening and reacting to someone else. But with green screen, it's become to a point with one actor, we've seen it already, that it's too much. They need someone else to react with. And as we saw in Lord of the Rings, Gandalf, he actually went through he broke down on set because of it and it really did not he did not like it at all it he did not sign up for that as an actor and it does not help the performance of what you're going to see on screen if you if you have an actor that's under that stress under that they can't do what they were made to do kind of thing point number two is green screen can be adding to the story with some details but there's people that use it just as a money saver and those kind of people don't put into as much detail as they want. And also, they could have done a 3D, have an actual set. They could have made certain parts of the set and put them there instead of just putting a green wall. And have that actual 3D effect. Which Christopher Nolan, he is a pro film man he's not a digital pro film and he does not like that green screen stuff at all he likes the real deal and it really does affect films and it makes them look more real number three oh no i just lost one okay with you might be saying green screen is needed now in this day and age um but there is a story, Box Trolls. They did all of that with claymation and all the effects. None of the effects were done. I believe none of the effects were done on um, computer. They did their own special effects on set. And that's really cool. You can actually have a piece of art come from on set done in none of that special effects. And it looks real and it looks very nice and it looks whole. Um, so from actors breaking down... And great there's great movies being made without green screen and those effects. You can say that it is possible that you can have it without any of the green screen and all that, but green screen can help and it does. Oh no, I've lost my spot. Green screen does help out with your story moving along. But if you use it overload, it's not gonna help out with your actors you're set and it's going to make the mood of the whole story not real at all. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.